Hey guys, so October faves and all right, so let's get into it. First off, my favorite question of the month, what am I hanging my earrings on, okay? So the thing I'm hanging my earrings on is this, it's a grip liner, um, you put in drawers and countertops and shelves and stuff. So I get mine from the dollar store, you just tack it on the wall and it has little holes in it and you can just kind of um, put your earrings in there and then for studs I have a cork board in my room that I put studs on okay so that is what I hang my earrings on for everybody that has asked me this month <laughs> that was like everybody was asking me that so there you go <laughs> okay so hair favorites all right let's start off with the grease okay um Y'all already saw my rolled crown video. Um, my videos that I did with uh, Curly Kinks, <sighs> Deep Fix, and the smoothing conditioner from Curl Junkie, where I was wearing a wash and go, I used a Dax for my wash and go. Um, a leave-in conditioner, Dax, and then a tiny bit of gel on top. And I actually got, what, three days, four days out of it? Um, Cause y'all know I can't go a long time without washing my hair. So, yeah, grease. Um, surprising, surprising. Uh, it can fit into my regimen. Um, luckily, they don't expire anytime soon, so I'm using all my stuff that I need to get rid of right now. So, yay, grease. Um, second thing, I think I've talked about this before, but I know for a fact I have a review on it. Shea Moisture's Black Soap Purification Mask. What? <laughs> This stuff is freaking awesome. I like it as a pre-poo or like an overnight DC or DC, whatever. This stuff is ridiculous. I go through about a tub a month, maybe a tub and a half a month because I literally use it as a pre-poo every time um, before I shampoo my hair. And I shampoo my hair like every three to four days. So yeah, um, awesome. And they're having bogo right now. So everybody that likes this stuff, y'all already know I picked up eight, so yeah. Um, so the Shea Moisture Black Self Purification Mask, uh, another thing, um, deep conditioner, my Cacao Bark Basque Deep Conditioner, Basque Cacao Bark Deep Conditioner, love, love, love this, I am like done, basically, Ugh, I have a review for this on my channel, so please check it out, but love, okay, um, let me see, shampoo, now, I, I don't really do shampoo favorites, but I have fallen back in love um, with my Bow Beam Poo Bars. This is the one that I'm currently using, the Goat's Milk one. <sighs> I don't know why I, I went on hiatus from them. I'm not sure. I think I was infatuated with liquid poos, but I am back in full effect. This stuff is like a freaking conditioner bar. My hair is so soft afterwards. Y'all already know the Shea Aloe is like my heart. Um, I've been using the cocoa olive also and I'm going to wash my hair tonight because this braid out is done and I'll be using the hibiscus tree hibiscus um, bar so awesome 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 um, what else for hair okay no side eyes <laughs> so I got mega tech right and I've been using it as a protein treatment um, it's a little bit of a harder protein treatment, meaning um, it's my hair feels like it's been protein treated, unlike my Curl Junkie Repair Me. And so I got this from a friend <laughs> that didn't want it anymore. And since my hair is colored and I can I need a lot of protein in my regimen, I was like, yeah, just give it to me. I will try it or whatever. Um, it does have a look liquid soluble water soluble cone in it or whatever but I don't know I like it, it it's a heavy protein treatment to me because my hair is kind of hard afterwards but it does its purpose and I only use it as a rinse out um, and I've only used it twice so but as far as being a good pro like my hair is ridiculous like so I do protein treatments like once a week probably um, but when my hair, like when I'm doing braid outs and twist outs, my hair is usually very stretched. And it takes about a week or so for my hair to get back into my wash and go um, curl pattern, my natural curl pattern or whatever. So um, 
I will do a protein treatment to kind of say, hey, come on, shrink back up because my hair will be super stretched, okay? So, like this. Um, what else for hair? I don't know if it's registering on camera, but my hair is very red, okay? And if you're my friend on Facebook, you saw the picture that I put up um, today, or if I put this video up tomorrow on Halloween, of um, my hair. My hair is very, very red right now very red okay and I use special effects um, semi-permanent hair color in nuclear red okay and I use this much for my whole head which is awesome because it looks like I can get two more uses out of it um, but my hair came out really really red and I was surprised because I thought it was gonna come out orangey because when I was putting it on and the gloves the kind of rub off color that was being left on the gloves was really orange but my hair is kind of registering orange right now with the lights but with just a regular camera taking a picture I'll probably insert the picture that I put up my hair is like red and I love it like I'm gonna have to invest in like six of these because yeah this stuff is awesome um what else for hair oh okay so I made a pomade right and it's the oils are kind of separating on it because y'all know I'm just I'm just a experimenter but I made a hibiscus pomade and it has hibiscus coconut oil hibiscus powder coconut oil um, BTMS, um, avocado butter, and aloe butter. I think aloe butter. So I've been using this. I use this for this braid out. Um, this is a braid out converted from a wash and go uh, that I did with just some drugstore stuff or whatever. Um, I didn't feel like ponytailing my hair, so I just braided it up. And this is day three of the braid out, and my hair is so freaking soft. Like, oh my gosh. And it has to be this stuff. Um, I think the me adding the BTMS in it is really, really nice. And here's what it looks like. The only thing is, I got to figure out how to not make the hibiscus stain. So I'm going to research that. But I really, really like the pomade. Like, I'm thinking, because I, I want to wash my hair today, but it's already late. And so if I wash my hair today, I'll have to deep condition overnight. And I don't want to do that because I don't really feel like doing a wash and go tomorrow. And yeah. So I think I might just load my hair up with this and kind of try to do like two plaits. I really want to try that because I love that look, but my hair has never been long, long enough to do it. Um, but I'm rambling. Okay. Uh, last thing, the um, Don Marie Moisture Mist. I'm almost done with it. And this has been my refresher spray of choice this month. I really like it. Um, I don't like it enough to repurchase it though, but it's doing what I needed to do. I don't know, I'm kind of over the refresher spray thing because I can always use a water bottle and water works just fine. So I don't really need to um, purchase a ready-made spray because I can always make my own. So that is here. Yes, that is here. Um, okay, skincare. So y'all know I am, I don't have the best skin. We all know that. but. It's a work in progress. So um, my skin has gotten a lot better in the last month or so, and I'm just attributing to it to the couple of attributing it to the couple of things that I started doing. Okay, I um, was watching the Naprika. Her channel is in here somewhere. Check her out, please. And she also um, suffers from acne or suffered from acne, and. Um, she did a mask with Bezanite Clay, Alma, and Neem, I think it is. And I have all those things, so I started doing that. And I do that um, at least once a week, sometimes bi-weekly. And um, I've also incorporated apple cider vinegar, which I believe she also did, but she does green tea in it. I just do straight apple cider vinegar um, as my toner. And yeah, that's been really, really awesome. And um, I've also incorporated um, this lactic acid peel right here. And yeah, my, my, I mean, I'm breaking out right now just because it's that time. But um, yeah, just my breakouts has gotten a lot better. And my, like my hyperpigmentation up here and on my cheeks has gotten a lot 
not hyperpigmentation, but like my where I pick up because I pick up my acne and like this pimple here is like just asking me to kind of pop it, but I'm trying my best not to. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so those things have contributed to that, I believe. Okay, um, what else? Makeup. Okay, um, these brushes. Okay, these are sorry, they're dirty. Um, Real Techniques um, Pixie Woo's line. These brushes are nice. Like this is um, it's a contour brush, and I use it for contouring because it's really nice. I could probably use it to kind of um, set powder underneath my eyes, but I use it for contouring, and I just bring it. Y'all watch my stuff. Um, I just bring it like that and contour or whatever. Love it. This is a buffing brush. Well, I use it to buff, so I'll buff my cheeks. I'll buff wherever it needs to be buffed or whatever. This brush here. This brush is perfect when I'm doing my highlighted looks for the triangle and then um, padding in or whatever. Um, and then I use this brush as a foundation brush for right here, okay? Because a lot of times, especially if I'm doing makeup tutorials, I'll do my eyes before I do the rest of my face just because fallout and all that good stuff. And this is like the perfect size to get between my eyebrows and just be awesome and whatever. And then this is just a perfect all around brush, okay? I use it to um, kind of put on powder, setting powder, my um, Prep and Prime. Um, I'll use it for blush, which I think is that's what it's made for. Yeah, it's made for blush. Um, I'll use it for that. I'll use it to set and you know, all that good stuff. So love those brushes, um, Ulta. And they're really affordable. They're not expensive at all. Um, what else? Oh, my lit glitters. If you haven't entered the giveaway, please go enter the giveaway. Y'all know I've been on a glitter kick with my makeup and I already have an idea for what makeup I'm going to do tomorrow because today was a really easy day with makeup. I didn't do anything. I'm not even wearing an awesome foundation because you can see y'all, oh, y'all just don't know. So lit glitters, um, awesome, awesome glitters, awesome glitters. Love them. Uh, yeah so those are my favorites um yeah quick hair update okay so oh another favorite freaking insanity okay it's a workout program y'all know what insanity is from sean p the black dude that does all the beach body crap the hip-hop abs guy yeah his crazy ass oh my damn I am so sore like Jesse tried to hug me today when I came home and like my back is killing me like I am so freaking sore because I'm going home for Christmas so I want to try to lose like 20 pounds which I can't do because I, I usually lose oh, I usually lose three pounds a week or so 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 yeah so I can probably do that I know I can do that because if I really push it up I could probably lose 30 but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to kill myself um but that workout is re freaking ridiculous and this is coming from somebody who has done like back in the day like two years ago did the full p90x workout like the 90 days this insanity shit is insane like what so if you're looking for a good workout program check that out because it's it's pretty nice um but okay hair update i'm gonna put my hair away again just because I kind of want to. I don't want it out right now. Um, I feel like the two weeks that I had it away in the braids, I kind of got a different head of hair back that I liked. <laughs> Meaning my hair is laying so much better um, in these out styles or whatever. And I don't know if I need to put my hair up every couple of weeks just to leave it alone or whatever. So I'm probably going to be doing some quick crochet braids um, this week with um, the water wave hair that I always use um, for my individual braids when my hair is shorter um, but I'm gonna be crocheting those in because it's probably it's easier I know it is easier and um, it'll be faster so I'm gonna be doing that so yeah my hair is gonna be away for a little bit I'll try to get out um, my grease wash and go video that I did and I will try to get out um, maybe one more hair tutorial before then um, I don't know and y'all remember I have a moderator box on my channel so you know let me know what you want to see and also I want to say thank you to you guys you guys are my favorite uh, of this month also 
for um, responding and receiving my makeup tutorial so well. Um, I know that this is mainly a hair channel, but makeup is another thing that I really love and I was kind of apprehensive about bringing makeup on the channel um, and I, I don't have the patience to do a whole nother channel because I can barely keep up with a Facebook and a Twitter. Like I've been neglecting, neglecting my Twitter unless somebody mentions me or sends me a message like it's so bad I've been neglecting Twitter anyways so um, I just want to say thank you to you guys for for receiving um, my makeup toots so well I am by far by far an expert in makeup I just really like to play in it um, and I like to change you know and play on colors and stuff so thank you guys love y'all so all right guys so that's favorites and randomness and updates and just me being me so yeah guys i will talk to y'all later oh look out for some giveaways i have some products that i have like doubles and triples of that i knew i need to kind of um move so yeah look out for some giveaways and all right guys i will talk to y'all later bye